classification of plants but how about the parts of plants to understand them in detail well there are two main parts in a flowering plant they are root system and shoot system the part of a plant that lies below the surface of the soil is root it is light in color and it has many branches in plants like marigold the main root grows vertically downwards into the soil this is called tap root or parent root from the tap root a few roots arise and grow laterally these are called lateral roots and from these lateral roots smaller rootlets arise in plants like paddy or grass we find many small roots arising from the point where the stem touches the ground these roots are called fibrous roots these also form rootlets and all roots are similar here there are no parent roots roots fix the plant in the soil it also absorbs water and minerals from the soil and supplies them to the leaf through the stem carrot radish beetroot and sweet potato store food in their roots The part of the plant which grows vertically above the ground is called stem. Branches, leaves, buds, flowers and fruits are formed on the stem. The part of the stem at which leaf arises is known as node. The region between the two nodes is called internode. The bud at the end of the stem is called terminal bud or apical bud this helps in the growth of the stem the angle between the leaf and stem is called as axil axillary buds are formed in axils these produce branches and flowers young stems are green whereas mature stems are brown in color so what are the functions of stem Let me describe in points now. Stem gives support to branches, leaves and fruits. Stem establishes connection between roots and leaves. Stem supplies water and minerals dissolved in water from roots to leaves, flowers and fruits. Stem supplies the food materials prepared in the leaves to roots and other parts of the plant. Stem performs photosynthesis in young plants some stems store food material like sugarcane turmeric ginger potato garlic in desert plants like opuntia cactus stem performs photosynthesis grow sidewards at the nodes of the stem the three important parts in a leaf are leaf base petiole and lamina or leaf blade leaf base 
the lower part of the leaf where the leaf attaches to the stem near the node is called leaf base it gives support to the leaf petiole the stem like part of the leaf that joins the leaf blade to the stem is known as petiole or leaf stalk it gives support to the leaf it helps in the transportation of water from stem to leaf and food materials from leaf to stem lamina or leaf blade the green expanded portion of a leaf is called lamina or leaf blade it is green in color due to the presence of chlorophyll all important functions of the leaf occur in lamina there are many ridged branched structures spread on the lamina called veins the long vein present in the middle of the lamina is called midrib smaller veins arise from the side vein and spread all over the lamina they act as a skeleton of leaf and also give support to the leaf let me tell you about the functions of leaf leaf prepares food material by the process called photosynthesis leaves regulate the consumption of oxygen and carbon dioxide leaf regulates the transportation of water and salts by the process called transpiration leaf modifies as thorns in desert plants and helps with standing water scarcity for example opuntia leaf modifies as coiled structures or climbers in weak stemmed plants and helps in climbing for example in the pea plant leaf helps in vegetative reproduction for example bryophyllum You must have seen many flowers on plants, right? They are beautiful, aren't they? Have you wondered what are the parts of flower? First, the flower is located at the axial or at the apex of the stem. Parts of a flower. Flower is attached to the stem with a stalk known as pedicel. The upper part of the pedicel is swollen. It is called thalamus on the thalamus all the floral parts are arranged in four whorls they are calyx corolla androecium and gynoecium or pistil calyx calyx consists of green parts in the outer whorl these are called sepals It protects the inner parts of the flower when the flower is in the form of a bud. Corolla. Corolla consists of colored parts in the second whorl of the flower called petals. It attracts insects and helps in pollination. Androecium. Androecium is the third whorl of flower which consists of stamens. Each stamen is made up of a filament and anther consists of pollen grains. Gynoecium or pistil. The fourth whorl of the flower consists of ovary, style and stigma. It is the female reproductive organ in a flower. These ovules have egg which is fertilized by pollen grains during fertilization process and hence seeds are produced
students in this topic we got to learn about parts of plants and their functions wasn't it fascinating we will get to learn more such interesting topics in the next session